welcome. Welcome to day 19 of 40 days as we journey through the book of Psalms. Let's just take a moment to breathe, to relax. Let's just wait. again um, as we journey through today let's just allow his words to truly wash over us right as we're drawing near to him day after day just allowing his spirit to uncover such amazing truths allowing him to reveal his character he is not only his truth but like truly revealing who we are right in him so let's allow his words to wash over us let's get started again day 19 yes 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 we're gonna be reading psalm 73 through 76 so now is a psalm of asaph and we know asaph was one of david's chief musicians okay so you know we ended yesterday this is this concludes the last song of david um yet asaph is one of his musicians and so we're gonna begin this first Psalm 73 is a perspective of eternity. So this is the word of the Lord. It says, Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold. For I envied the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. They have no struggles. Their bodies are healthy and strong. They're free from common human burdens. They are not plagued by human ills. Therefore, pride is their necklace. They clothe themselves with violence. From their callous hearts comes iniquity. Their evil imaginations have no limit. They scoff and speak malice with arrogance. They threaten oppression. Their mouths lay claim to heaven and their tongues take possession of the earth. Therefore, their people turn it in and drink up waters in abundance. They say, how would God know? Does the Most High know anything? This is what the wicked are like. Always free of care, they go on amassing wealth. Surely in vain, I've kept my heart pure and have washed my hands in innocence. All day long I've been afflicted and every morning brings new punishment. If I had spoken out like that, I would have betrayed your children. When I tried to understand all this, it troubled me deeply. Till I entered the sanctuary of God. Then 
I understood their final destiny. Surely you place them on slippery ground. You cast them down to ruin. How suddenly are they destroyed? Completely swept away by terrors. They are like a dream when one awakes. When you arise, Lord, you will despise them as fantasies. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you. Yet, I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. Mm. Oh, so good. The hand here is symbolic of being honored. God doesn't reject his people because, you know, falling prey to doubt, right? This is yet, I'm always with you. You hold me by my right hand. He'll never leave. He will never forsake us. You guide me with your counsel and afterward you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. <laughs> my flesh and my heart may fail. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Those who are far from you will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. Psalm 74. So this psalm, the scale of a staff, it's about a community that's crying out about the destruction, um, destruction over the temple, destruction of the temple. They're saying, request for God to remember his covenant. Have you guys ever um, asked God, ask him to remind you, God, what is your covenant with me? Or even those who came before me, God, reveal your truths to me. Because one thing God will do, he's always faithful to his covenant. It's us who waver and wait and wait, you know? He's faithful. This is their request for God to remember his covenant. Oh God, why have you rejected us forever? Why did your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the nation you purchased long ago? The people of your inheritance, whom you redeemed? Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Hmm. Turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins. All this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. I'm gonna stop right there for a moment. Hmm. Remember how we said, as we're drawing near to him, allow his words to wash over us. You guys, this is personal. Requested for God to remember his covenant. This is with you. The destruction of the temple, it's you, the lies of the enemy that has caused the destruction in our lives, that false seed that we tend to hold on to those lies. 
Lord, let's cry out to him. Lord, remember the covenant with me. Remember the nation you purchased long ago. That's me. That's you. He gave it all on Calvary. We are the people of his inheritance whom he redeemed. Mount Zion, put your name there. Crystal, where you dwelt. Your name, where you dwelt, Lord. Turn your steps towards these everlasting ruins. All this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. Yeah, the Babylonians, they destroyed the temple, that is no doubt. But the letter will kill. The spirit brings life. Those things that were written aforetime are for our learning and our instruction. Hmm. He's teaching us his truths, revealing to us not only himself and his truths, but revealing us. God, reveal me to me. That is my prayer. Is that your prayer? Thank you, Lord. Verse 4. Your foes roared in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behave like men wielding axes to cut through a thicket of trees. <laughs> we are the trees that bear much fruit, right? <laughs> they smashed all the carved paneling with their axes and hatchets. They burn your sanctuary to the ground. They defile the dwelling place of your name. Mm. Dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. Still kill and destroy. We are giving no signs from God. No prophets are left, and none of us knows how long this will be. How long? Will the enemy mock you, God? Will the foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Mm. Why do you hold back your power? Mm. Hand here is power. Mm. Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. But God is my king from long ago. He brings salvation on the earth. It was you who split open the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in the waters. It was you who crushed the heads of Le Leviathan. This is a sea monster, right? <laughs> the waters of chaos, it threatens life, right? He crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave it as food to the creatures of the desert. It was you, God, who opened up springs and streams. You dried up the ever flowing rivers. The day is yours. Hmm. And yours also the night. You establish the sun and moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. <laughs> Ooh, talk about power, our creator. Power, okay? Mm. Seasons, baby. Remember how the enemy has mocked you, 
Lord, how foolish people have reviled your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beast, your beloved. Do not forget the lives of your afflicted people forever. Have regard for your covenant because ponds of violence fill the dark places of the land. Do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace. May the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O oh God, and defend your cause. Remember how fools mock you all day long. Do not ignore the clamor of your adversaries, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continually. Psalm 75. Oh, how many of y'all know God is the judge, okay? Righteous judge. We praise you, God. We praise you for your name is near. People tell of your wonderful deeds, you say. I, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with equity. When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. To the arrogant I say, boast no more. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horns. Do not lift your horns against heaven. Do not speak so defiantly. No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves. It is God who judges. He brings one down, he exalts another. In the hand of the Lord is a cup. <laughs> That's that divine judgment, y'all. <laughs> In the hand of the Lord is a cup full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours it out and all the wicked of the earth drink it down to its very dregs. As for me, I will declare this forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob who says, I will cut off the horns of all the wicked. The horns of the righteous will be lifted up. Hmm. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Psalm 76 talks about the glorious might of God. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. God is renowned in Judah. In Israel, his name is great. His tent is in Salem, his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the flashing arrows, the shields and the swords, the weapons of war. You are radiant with light, mm, more majestic than Mountains rich with game. The valiant lie plunder. They sleep their last sleep. Not one of the warriors can lift his hands. At, at your rebuke, God of Jacob, both horse and chariot lie still. It is you alone who are to be feared. Who can stand before you when you are angry? From heaven you pronounced your judgment and the land fear and despondence. When you, God, rose up to judge to save all the afflicted of the land. Surely your wrath against mankind bring you praise and the survivors of your wrath are 
restrain. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. Let all the neighboring lands bring gifts to the one to be feared. He breaks the spirit of rulers. He is feared by the kings of the earth. I love today, uh, I, I love today's reading. It is truly God must be our strength and our portion. He must be our strength and our portion. You know, even when our flesh fails and our, our flesh and our heart fail, it's but God, but God, he is our strength. God made both day and night in all the seasons, right? All the seasons are meant to be a blessing. He knows exactly what we need, y'all. You know, it's like the clouds and the sunshine. In it all, he's in control. Through it all, God is good. We have to give him thanks always always you know truly believe abundant life is when like all the unseen pastures and hills and valleys right when it begins to overflow that is abundant living the blessings of your truth the wisdom that you provide lord the understanding mm. It's good. Hmm. See how it says, um, rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Hmm. Y'all, we carry his name as believers. Like that scripture talks about Israel's cause is also God's cause. The same is true for us as believers today. Rise up, O oh God, and defend your cause. Our cause as believers is we carry his name as believers. Hmm. Lord, as we continue to draw near to you, wash us with your word. Purify us, your church, Father God, your bride. Hmm. So we're able to be received by you. You guys continue to worship, listen to our loving Father, meditate on his word, to experience him like never before. He's listening. We are his playlist. Until tomorrow, stay blessed.